Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I'm going to go around and check on all seven DC fast chargers in my home county of Carroll County in Maryland and we're going to see how they're faring. Let's get into it. <laughs> So everybody, the whole premise of this is Plugin Sites on Twitter. Uh, he was talking to a bunch of Maryland people and we want to go check all the DC fast chargers. So I said I would do Carroll County because Carroll County has seven. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go do that. I'm also going to go check out a couple that are pretty close to me that are in uh, Baltimore County. Uh, but we're going to go drive there, plug in, see how things are, uh, kind of look at everything, see if it's holding up, if people are already there charging, just see if they're charging successfully. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get on our way. I'm going to go to the closest one first, all the ones in my hometown, and then I'll go out far and then check on the ones in Baltimore County. All right, everyone, we're here at the EV Smart here in um, by BGE here in Westminster. It's my hometown. Uh, and I'm already charging some interesting things. It, I'm gonna speak loud so you can hear over the whir, but basically the left handle, the Chatamo, on here it says you can activate, but in the app says it's unavailable. So that's that. Another thing too that's interesting is, uh, there's this whole thing where Shell Recharge is pretty much telling anyone that's not Shell Recharge that they have to leave their kind of uh, network, and so, um, BGE and EV Smart, good on them. They've already switched over here to Switch, ironically enough. Um, and I set that up and actually it was, I like the app way better than the uh, Shell Recharge app, so that's nice. Here you can see we're getting 38 kilowatts, uh, which is pretty close to what I would expect because of the low voltage of my car. Um, a couple things I want to point out at this site. It looks like the cable management on the Chatamo uh, kind of works, but not great. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it's been banging up here when people drag it to the other side of the car. And then let me step over the cable here. You can see that the cable management here is just clearly not working. Um, or maybe they just have this set up at the wrong point because um, it's silver tracks. Um, so there you go. But it does, it does work. I was able to activate. I'm only talking about DC fast chargers today, but there are some level two over here that work as well. So that site uh, was not issue free, especially for Chatamo users. Um, they did just do a little switch to switch, if you will. I had to set up the app. That actually went well. I like the new app. It worked really nicely, actually. Just annoying you have to have another app. Just another one. Uh, but anyways, on the app, um, there's some uh, things that are incorrect. It says they're all J1772 and they're only 17 cents a kilowatt hour. That'll be interesting to see how much they charge me. Um, but aside from that, the chatter mode doesn't work, so that's a negative, but, uh, you know, uh, actually that's a, a real big negative because there are some people in my local community that have leaps and uh, that might be the only way they can charge. So, All right, now we're going to head down the road to the Royal Farms Blink charger and check on that one. All right, everyone, we're here at the Blink at a Royal Farms. As you can see, the cable management is just completely broken on both, which is kind of embarrassing. So there's that, um, but let's uh, go ahead, plug in, see if both of the handles work, and I'll let you know. All right, so I put the first uh, handle in here on the right side. It worked nicely. One thing, the screen is just really hard to read during the day. I have to like lean in and cover it up, um, and it's actually not, there we go. Okay, now it's showing the data. So showing the data says 95.8 amps, uh, which means this is not putting out all the power it should. I'm inside the car, lots of warnings, inside the car getting 40 kilowatts. So this is actually giving me 125 amps instead of 150 amps like it should. Uh, it's not the end of the world, so it is working, it is charging, but it is not giving the advertised rate. And my battery is warm enough at this point in time. Actually everyone, in defense, I did check, my battery could be warmer, but it should be able to handle 150 amps, but um, I don't know. I'm gonna plug into the other handle, see if that one's working. Everyone, I don't know if you can see, but it actually does say 149.3 amps um, is going. So that's interesting. A little discrepancy, because my car, it definitely still says 125, so interesting. All right, everybody, so I'm getting 39 kilowatts. Again, my app, uh, the car scanner app is saying uh, I'm getting 125 amps. Let's go out here, 
see what the charger says because remember the other charger was wrong uh well wrong yeah here it says it's given 146 amps so there's some kind of communication error or something like that um so very very interesting um i do want to mention i tried to use the nyax to activate and it didn't work either time so i had to use the app I don't know if it was a me problem or this problem, but I did tap to pay, that didn't work, and then I used my card, and then that didn't work either. So um, maybe I was doing it wrong, uh, but regardless, anybody should be able to easily come up, activate, and not have any issues. All right, I'm done here. I'm gonna head down the road to another EV Smart uh, BGE now switch on the switch network uh, and see how that goes. All right, everyone, I'm here at the BGE EV Smart. Now, this is weird because this is still networked with Shell Recharge and not Switch yet. So maybe it's a slow rollover. Sorry for the high pitch. These things are so annoying. Uh, but anyways, I came here. It was completely off. And what had happened was someone touched the emergency stop, shuts it off, then you can't use it. So if you ever roll onto one of these old um, <coughs> Tritium chargers, you can just turn it. It'll reboot and then you can charge. So very annoying, but um, it does work. I'm getting full speed, so can't complain about that. Everyone, something really interesting. Um, I was just sitting here about to leave and I was like logging into plug share and stuff like that. And um, it turned back off. So it wasn't with the east stop. It was something different. Something's wrong with this charger. Now, when I did the east stop, I was able to turn it back on, but you shouldn't have to do that every time you charge. So um, interesting. I'm going to mark this as not good because <laughs> someone shouldn't have to do that. Very interesting. All right, I'm here again. EV Smart BGE uh, has not switched over to switch. Uh, and these are some old FSEC units and they are not working um, at all. They don't show up in the app. I, I don't have an RFID card, so I can't even use that to see if it would work. Um, this guy's plugged in and he has a, 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 I don't know if you can see, but it's like a red light there. So he's not charging either. So neither of these are working. Um, let me see. I wonder why you would leave it plugged in. It's kind of weird. Uh, these show that they're working, so that's good. So at least you could level two if you thought you were gonna get a charge here. But unfortunately, these FSEC units not working. Not working at all. Here, let me take a picture of there. Okay. Well, let's get on the way to the next one, which is another BGE EV Smart location in Sykesville, downtown Sykesville. Pretty cool place. I think it was voted um, like the coolest small town at one point in time. I'm not sure if they're not showing up as available in the app because of the whole, the back end switch over to switch or not. But unfortunately I came here, it didn't work. So I'm gonna have to count it as such. If I had an RFID card, I would be able to see if it did work. I did see in November, so about a month ago, someone was able to charge, but the reality is I can't charge right now. There's a customer right next to me who isn't charging and that stinks. All right, everybody, I'm here at the EV Smart Shell Recharge. Plugged in, activate it. Seems like it's working. There we go. So that's good. This one showed up in the app, so it was weird that the other one didn't. And then this, because this is the exact same unit that was in the Finksburg one that like I had to turn on and then it like turned off again. So that was weird, but yeah, this one seems to be working okay. Let's go inside the car and see what we're getting speed wise. Yep, so we're getting 34 kilowatts. That's actually a little bit lower than I would expect. Oh, it's because I have climate oil. Let me turn climate off. Uh, actually, climate shouldn't have impacted it. But anyways, yeah, 38 kilowatts. So again, exactly what I would expect here. Things appear to be working. Uh, so yeah, good on you there. EV Smart BGE still working. Uh, wondering when they're gonna switch all these over to switch or how that's gonna work out. Very interesting um, in my opinion. But yeah, working here, gonna unplug and we got two more we need to check out. Uh, one is a charge point, so that should work. And then I don't remember what the other one is if I'm being honest. All right, everyone, we made it here to some charge point units, okay. Uh, Potomac Edison, so that's another utility here in Maryland. Uh, real quick, let's check a couple things. It says 62.5 kilowatts, 156 amps. Um, interesting. And then uh, the cables are, where are the labels? The cables are 200 amp. So that could theoretically deliver up to 80 kilowatts or in my car's instance, uh, 60, around 66 tops. But so 62.5, 156 amps. Um, 
meaning if we get 156 amps, that should put us, or anyone who plugs in, yeah, at 62, so this should be good. All right, let's go ahead and plug in and make sure it's working. I love charge point because I use the tap. It works every time, and it's good to go. Really nice. Uh, there is a um, i4 here charging, and it looks like they're charging well, getting 65, so it appears to be working for them. Uh, good to know. I did the tap to pay right there with my uh, charge point in my uh, Apple wallet. Worked out well. And this is 125 kilowatt DC shared, uh, which is interesting. We're ramping up, lots of beeps. I don't know if I've heard all these sounds before at a charge point unit. Maybe I've never paid attention. So we're getting 23.3 kilowatts. That's interesting and very low. So I have to go inside and see what's going on there. And then uh, see if anything changed for him. Now he's still getting 60, so that's good. Yeah, I wonder what's going on here. Let's go look. All right, everyone, a couple quick things. So mine, yeah, it's not working properly for some reason. Sorry, they're empty dumpsters behind me. And it says available, so which is weird. And that says in use and is working properly. So I don't know. Uh, I don't need a charge, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Uh, but something weird is happening for real. Uh, back, there we go. And stop. All done. Stop charging, yes. All right, everybody arrived here at a, a EVI, so Electric Vehicle Institute. Uh, charging station, very interesting. Let's, we got a Polestar over here charging already, so let's just see what they got going on. Uh, 51%, 400 volts, 120 amps, okay. And let's see what this is rated at. Um, 100 amp max, uh, okay. So I would say this is doing above average, uh, but still, uh, what's that, you know? 40-ish kilowatts. And then let's see what's going on with mine. Uh, also 100 amp max, so let's plug it in and see what we get. Uh, looks like the screen's working. All right, worth noting everybody, the screen's burnt out in a couple spots here, but it did work, so that's good. Um, it's communicating, taking a long time. Looks like this, eh, it's still kind of working. Wearing out a little bit. Still communicating. It's a long time to communicate. All right, so it didn't work. So I gotta unplug and try again, I guess. All right, it happened again, charging failed. And I wanna show you too what it said inside my car. It said, um, unable to charge a station not sending power. Let me see. There it is, I'm able to charge station not sending power. Never seen that before, so yeah, something appears to be wrong with this uh, unit, which stinks. Um, but one of them works, so, you know, 50% is better than 0%. There are some Tesla destination chargers here. Let's see, we got uh, da -da 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 -da, 80 amp, nice, cool. 19.2 uh, kilowatt output. Uh, I don't have my adapter, uh, but there's that. <sighs> Unfortunately, can't test this one out, but I know that one's working. Um, I'll report this. All right, everyone, so that wraps up my little audit of all of the DC fast charging sites in Carroll County, which is where I live. I decided not to go to the ones in Baltimore County. So real quick, just wanna recap. I started at the first one, uh, which is close to my house in Westminster. Went there, that one worked fine. That's been moved over to the switch network, awesome. Then I went to the Royal Farms. Uh, both of them worked. I was able to charge. Uh, issue was they were saying I was getting 150 amps when I was only getting 125 amps, which is not good as far as like uh, weights and measurements is concerned. Um, but they did work. The cable management was broken, uh, but again, you could charge. Next, I went to the Finksburg Library. Uh, I was able to eventually get it to charge, but the problem is once I like unplugged and I just was doing a couple of things, the charger shut back down. So that's not good. There's definitely an issue with that site. Then I headed to the senior center, couldn't charge there at all. Headed to town hall, that one worked perfectly fine. And then lastly, I came here to Mount Airy. The charge point, the one was working for the i4, the other uh, was only putting out half for me. I was only getting 75 amps. And then I went to the EV Charging Institute. The one was working perfectly fine for the Polestar. 
and then for me it was uh, not working at all. So out of the seven DC fast charging sites in my county, two were fully functional and I was able or someone would have been able to charge at all of them except for one and then maybe that other one at the library if um, they didn't reset it, but you shouldn't have to reset it. It should just work. So there's my little audit for uh, Carroll County. I might do another one where I hit some in Frederick County or Baltimore County, but that's it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give a like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all next time.